I just sunk to my groin. You guys, we're at church right now, but we're not praying. We're here to, you know, praying was for this morning. Right now we're here to kill fish. Now, we have people kind of driving around giving us some funky looks, but I've got holy permission. The pastor gave me permission to come out here and fish, which is a godly sport, in case you didn't know. This is the most misleading place in the world. Looks like it's six inches deep and you walk in, you sink up to your waist. There goes that Placo. Hopefully I find him again. <sighs> the cool thing about here is that if you, um, if you spear a fish and you miss it, he doesn't have too far to go. I mean, you're gonna find him again. That's a uh, Florida gar. They're very good to eat. You know, some people don't really realize that just because they think of them as like a like a muddy kind of fish that just lives in the muck. Well, they, they do live in the muck, but I mean, anything if it's cooked right, with very few exceptions, can taste amazing. And this is one of them, and we're gonna cook them for sure. But I don't know, I saw this Placostomus that was, I, I'd never seen one so big. It was gigantic. And I missed it when I sunk down in the water, and I really wanna find him. So we're going to keep looking. Whoa, got one. Hello, water dad. All right, hang on. No, it's not deep at all. Watch for snakes. I always carry this file along just in case because you never know. I mean, you're always going to be better off with a sharp tip, even though you have a lot of force behind it. That sharpness of these tips is really gonna make or break sometimes whether or not you get a good shot and it sticks on them. I see a fish, Dave. You, you ready for them? They're right there. of that Placostomus. Come see it, come see him. Have you ever seen such a crazy looking fish at this size? They never, they never get this big. This is, this thing is huge. I normally wouldn't eat a fish out of here just cause, you know, it isn't that bad, but sometimes like in a residential or like an urban area, you don't wanna eat too much fish. But this area is pretty natural in this general area. So we're gonna go ahead and eat them. And I don't know, you know, they can be very good if you cook them right and we're gonna cook them right. Oh my gosh. That's called a Pocostomus. Yeah, he's a, uh, it's an aquarium fish that is invasive in Florida. Like people let him go out of the aquarium. That's not like all over here. I thought it was like an Those are all tilapia. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. There's an albino down here. Oh, is there? Yeah. There's like everything around here. It's crazy, you know? We're doing Dad, let me in there. All right, you guys. Put your seatbelts on. Time to go. Well, you know what? The car started and we got a giant fish. If you ask me, that's a good day. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and head home because it's getting late as you can tell. And it's not a, uh, it's not a uh, weekend, weekend night. It's a weeknight. So we have a bedtime. So we're gonna go home. We're gonna cook these fish and I can tell you what, stay tuned because we're gonna do an amazing recipe. Lots of these plecos, when people try to cook them, they just throw the whole entire fish with their shell on like a barbecue 
and that will never work. I mean, if that doesn't work for one of the best tasting fish, you know, you want to salt and pepper and do all the rest of it, but there's a little bit more special attention that you have to do for a pleco. And we're going to do that and stay tuned because that's going to be better than whales, snails, and puppy dog tails. Daddy, what? I want ice cream. Well, we are in a different location now, obviously. Look behind me, we're at the beach. We're at the beach all day, but I brought the Pocostomus down here with me uh, to cook it. Do all kinds of stuff over here. We have some hog meat, we have the pasta. But right now for this video, it's only gonna be the Playco. Um, uh, there's a hog kitchen cook video coming here very soon. So it's either gonna be before this video or shortly after. One of the two for sure though. But hey, right now I'm gonna go ahead and start a fire, get that Playco on the fire. And let me tell you how I cleaned it. So check this out. All you do is, well, there's a few different ways. You can use like tin snips, like aluminum scissors. Those will cut that shell very easily. The same as like a gar. And I won't lie, this one here, I kind of butchered it. I don't know. I mean, I had the Pleco in the freezer. Well, no, I, I had the Pleco in the fridge for about two days and it made the meat become very mushy, which made it very difficult to clean. So because of that, there isn't much meat, but there is some meat. Go ahead and cook it. All I'm doing is cutting right up the side here, see? About an inch away from that top fin, that dorsal there. So you have all that meat in there. At this point, just cut that shell right off that meat on both sides. Kind of fillet it off. Your meat. So these swamp cabbage fronds are some of the best fire starter ever. We're gonna go ahead and use those. Daddy! A, what? You buy this? I did buy it. I'm just gonna set those up in here. guys do check the link in the description below for my other Playco video because the cooking and the cleaning did go a lot better <laughs> but I am super curious to see how this is gonna turn out with as mushy as it was who knows maybe it'll make it more tender let's find out well our fire is lit there's our Playco believe it or not <laughs> oh man so because you're in tinfoil you can just kind of set it wherever you wherever you want you know there we go been playing in the water with the boys it's getting windy out here if the audio seems a little bit fuzzy sounding but uh or windy sounding but that the plico is just about done i believe just been turning it and turning it and turning it let's see all right let's see well it's juicy and steamy that's a good it smells pretty good this is just our appetizer, okay? So this is a Placostomus appetizer. Yuck. Yuck? What's yuck? 
That's our hunk of blacostomus right there. Give me. Hang on a second. I'll be totally honest with you, it tastes like my seasonings mixed with a muddy tasting fish. <laughs> Try it. Oh, it's good? <laughs> well, good. Look, it's so firm, it's like chicken or something. That does not look anything like fish. It's actually not bad. It's like a catfish that was too big. <laughs> that lived in a swampy water. Okay, babe, try it. Come on, big bite, get a full taste. Don't give me a funky look on your face, come on. You don't eat off. No. <laughs> this is like a catfish. It's like catfish, right? A little bit like a catfish? Dad, what? please make some more. I will. <laughs> what the heck was that? Daddy, my boy dad. Did you see that? My boy dad. <laughs> well, I liked it. Uh, David and Luke liked it. Isabella, I'm not sure what that was. Maya did not like it. But hey, you guys, thanks for watching. The Costumus, I recommend smaller one. Bigger ones, pretty muddy tasting. Thanks for watching again. See you guys soon. And uh, have an awesome day.